Ah, it's been a week, it's been a week, it's been a week. And now it's time for more Star Ocean, and I am very excited for more Star Ocean. We, we don't have enough Star Ocean. We, we should have more Star Ocean, actually. Leeks make you weak? Well, um... Try eating leeks. I, I don't- I really don't have a... A return line for that. <sighs> Alright, uh, I'm just... Getting my assorted social media posts up. And who is ready for intense menu action? Yeah! I mean, that's what I can promise, at least. I, we may at some point also uh, go dungeon crawling or something. But for at least like a half hour into the start of this stream, it's going to be intense menu action. Yeah! Because we've unlocked stuff like the item crafting system. We've unlocked stuff like uh, the specialization system. Whoop. I just yanked my headphones straight out of the thing by gesturing. I don't remember which hole these go in. Um, I don't think it's... No, it's not that one. Uh, okay, am I... Am I back? Did I crash anything by... I was gesturing really hard and I, like, punched my headphones straight out of the computer. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... <sighs> the stream did have a brief blip at that exact moment. Oh, well, that was... That's weird. I... <laughs> I'm very good at existing. Is the thing. Anyway, I got so excited about item crafting that I punched my headphones out of my PC. Uh, and that never happens. So, that should teach you how excited I am about the skill system and the item crafting in Star Ocean Second Story. I'm looking forward to absolutely fucking the pace of this game all up. If I can't do it by level grinding, I will do it through the specialization system. Like, there are many ways to break this game, and I know most of them, and I'm sure they can't have changed them all. So, uh... A Bird Crossing the Desert. I like this track title. What the hell is The Legend of Xanadu JDK? I know JDK is Falcom's in-house band. What is The Legend of Xanadu exactly? Uh... Action RPG for the PC Engine. Uses bump system, like the Ease games. Oh, that's cool. Um... I wonder if it ever got an English translation. If so, then I'm gonna make fucking play it, cause I love bump system combat. Well, yeah, I'm always learning. Falcom's back catalog is so deep. Every now and then I'm like... Just tripping over new stuff from them. I had no idea this game existed. And now I want to play it. And now I'm really hoping that I can play it. I don't know if it ever got an English release. But, you know... It is for the future! The future is yet to come. And the past is all that's gone. We have to live for the moment. And right now, the moment tells me to play some Star Ocean. 
So let's get over here. Let's get you guys down. Oh no, I forgot something. I forgot my head. Hold on, let me put my head on. Let me just get my head on real quick. Alright, there's my head. Let me turn off the morphin grid. There we go. Okay, uh, that should be everything? I think everything's set up. Turn off the music. Uh, one thing I want to check real quick is, is sound. I want to make sure that, uh... Scream. Yeah, alright. I just want to make sure that it's not, like, distorted and messed up. It is not good. So let's roll into some menuing. I like menuing. Video game. Yes, that one is still messed up. But, to be fair, it's supposed to be. All right, now they can't have possibly cut off every possible way in which I can, uh, break these systems. So I'm going to dig in and see if I can, uh, I think I'll go with the main save. The auto save is a little further on, but yeah, here you can see that I was up on the mountains trying to grind, uh, those... Weird spherical enemies. You joined and immediately got glitched fanfare. Glitch fanfare flashbang. <laughs> Hello, Jids. Alright, uh... We don't have a lot. We have uh, some armor, we have some stuff. Various accessories. I should probably actually put those accessories on, uh, people. The art style in this game is incredible, I feel. A lot of stuff about this game is incredible. Oh, I'm not allowed to mess with Celine's equipment because she is a guest party member. Alright, that's fine. That's cool. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jog us back to town and we're gonna start investigating some fucking systems and complications. Systems and complications. I love systems and complications. Shout out to 90% uh, of my chat. Be careful. You ready for this? Uh, let me know if the volume is okay. I have the volume down a bit on my side. It might be a little too quiet. It might be a little. Volume seems good. Cool. Excellent. All right. Um, we're gonna we're do anyway. We're running back to town because I want to uh, fuck around with the menus for a little while. But we are gonna go exploring and fighting a little more later. There's no way around. You ready for this? Celebrating systems and complications. I too do that. Yeah, we. We are obviously uh, overpowered compared to the enemies around Frost. So, I'm just jogging back there. But yeah, I love the art stuff, the visual, the art style in this game. I can't go down this little cliff. We gotta go up here. Uh, we can just get enter the city through this gate, I think. You can fish wherever there is water by pressing A. I will be fishing. A lot. At times, items or enemies may be caught instead. Alright, we have fishing. This is a real RPG now. You ready for this? Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Yeah, I want to... Come to think of it, I've never fished in this game yet. Let's go ahead and fish in the water around Cross. What will you use as bait? Um... Nothing, I guess. Let's just... Uh, 
A cross carp. Wow, that's a big one. Okay. Yeah, fishing. Can I use cross carps as bait? Yes. All right. Will carp eat carp? Carpe diem? Yeah, I'm just catching bigger carps. Oh, that's a sizable fish. A traveling salmon? Uncle traveling salmon? Anyway. Alright, we're back here in town. Uh, I do want to look at the missions, because... Apparent guild missions, none. Challenge missions. Complete the objectives to obtain rewards useful for item creation and specialties. Check these occasionally as you proceed through the main story. Yeah, we have a lot of them complete. Uh, we have fight 10 battles, fight 50 battles, hit an enemy 10 times in a row. Yeah, we, we're, we can rake in a whole bunch of these. Formation manual alert. Interesting. Uh, defeat an enemy in under three seconds. We did that. See the enemy in under one second. Hell yeah. Alright. Uh, now I need to see what these items are. We got a silver amulet. Okay, spell damage up. That's good. Silver ring hit points up. Nice. Some fish. A compress that increases movement speed. A salve that increases movement speed in battle. Alright. Enables use of the formation square shift one. Right, what is a party formation? Uh, this lets you switch out party from... Two in the front and rear, protecting the center. Hmm. I think I will stick with the basic formation, but this is interesting. Oh, I see. The uh, more you use it, or the more you use various formations, the more bonuses you get. That's very interesting. That system certainly wasn't in the previous. All right. Uh, talents increase the success rate of item creation and specialties. Item creation and specialties and recommended talents. Each character requires different talents. We don't have to worry about this right now. Uh, yep. Factors, which is additional effects. Specialties. Uh, super specialties. What I need is to improve... Specialty skills. Uh, this just tells you super specialties when two people have... Complementing specialties, you can use a super specialty. Anyway, uh, the number one thing that I have to improve right now is determination. That lowers the SP needed for other skills. Then I need to, if I recall correctly, increase Celine's penmanship. This gives her the writing skill. And at writing level 7, she'll be able to write skill books. Skill books raise other people's skills level. So it's a good way of learning stuff like mineralogy or uh, other stuff that relates to a item creation skill without actually having to buy those item creation skills. 
But first off, I really want to max determination on everybody if possible. Because it makes everything else cost much less. And that's just a good investment. And I don't think I can get her to max determination. No. We will need to level her up some more. She is a wonderful right... Well, yes, but... This silly needs to be taught. Um... Come to that, what abilities does she have? Uh... Design sense, acoustic sense, love of animals, and blessing of mana. Uh... So, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm definitely gonna have to get her, uh... Whatever it is that raises... Your success rate in writing. That's fine. That's good. I can do that. I can do that, no problem. R. Here's the guild. Advice on skills. No, I'm good. I want to, uh, pick up some skills, if possible. Oh. Uh, use a kit in crafting to make a silver earring. I'll provide the materials. I'll provide... Okay. Use fishing to catch a cross carp. I can... I've already done that. Can I turn that in? Yes, I can. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and make some basic shit. Let's see. Uh, use cooking to make a fried egg. I think Reyna can do that. Create food using ingredients. That's that's what that's how you cook. Materials, eggs, and dairy. Success rate one hundred percent. Here goes. Uh, she made some fruit milk. All right, cool. Not what I wanted. Let's try. Uh, there are three things left on the creation list. Let's go ahead and make them. Here if this works. Uh, yogurt? Fruit milk and yogurt? Okay, but I need a fried egg, though! Here goes. Fried! Fried, Reyna! Fried! An egg sandwich. Boiled egg. Okay, so she has completely failed to make the uh, one thing that we actually needed for the quest. Beautiful. Alright. Let's try again with uh, alchemy. Alchemy and other crafting. Alright. Uh, we're supposed to make iron. Celine can do that. Create an ore using a new ore. I think... Wait, I better read that again. Use a kit in crafting to make a silver earring. Use alchemy to make silver. You'll need to use iron. Okay. Uh, you just make iron into silver. This is just a straight one-to-one -one transition. There. We made some silver. And now we can use crafting to make a uh, silver earring. Use a kit to make a specific item. Yeah, we can do that. Ah! 
Silver earring made. Max MP, 20%. Okay. That gives us some ring mail. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and equip that on blood. And I think that should have given us some more uh, specialty skill points. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we will have her learn writing up to level, uh... Sorry, penmanship. Up to level 7-ish. Alright. Uh, now we should just have her grab whatever costs, like, one to learn. I think. Knife skills, mineralogy, resilience, smithing. Poker face. Deity. Item knowledge. And she should be able to, uh... Whoops, that was two. As long as it costs one point, we should go ahead and learn it. There we go. Now she might be able to, uh... Use writing. Create guidebooks and improve other item creation skills. Yeah, and now, uh, once we have some fountain pens... We can give other people levels in... Skills. And that means that we'll be able to, uh, power level our skills and save the skill points for other things. So that's gonna be, uh, extremely handy. Now, if some of that went over your head, or if, uh, if you have no idea what the hell I'm doing, that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. I'm just trying to, uh, break the game in a very stupid, cheesy way. Through menus and systems and operations. Um, also I got to see if- is there a place I can buy eggs around here? Because, uh, still have plenty of stuff left. Yeah, I gotta bu I'm gonna buy, like, ten more of these. I want to finish that let that one quest. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Rena. Um, Rena. Here goes. There, she made some fried eggs. All eggs fried on just one side. Excellent. And now we have, uh, quite a bit of basic food, which, that's nice. Karana gets a silk robe. That's a defensive boost. We've got various foodstuffs. That'll recover some hit points and all. Alright, let's go explore Cross Cave. Cross Cave. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Probably, but actually, you know what? Let's not explore Cross Cave. Uh, I want to go back and I want to... I want to fish and I want to explore the landscape a little bit because... When I was running around aimlessly trying to level up last time, I saw a couple of chests that we, uh... Probably shouldn't be able to get to yet, but which we can get to. So I'm going to get to them and open them. Like this one. What? Do you see that way up on top of that hill? 
There's a chest up there. We're gonna go open it. There's no way around. We can win this. Hope. Yeah. Too bad. Well, I'd say you. that's worth ten out of ten. We are, as as always, still super overpowered. We're gonna get more overpowered because I love getting more overpowered in this game. But I want to see what this is. It's eggs and dairy. They never stood a they never stood a chance. You know, I miss the free eggs and dairy, and I feel bad about it. Uh, we're gonna save that for after Raina gets some more cooking skill. Ooh. We can link a battle here. Seems like a fight is you ready for this? Ha! There's no way around. You ready for this? I don't even have to do anything. Anyway, our goal is actually to go to Cross Cave, which means I should probably head for Cross Cave. But I, I, I just take a lot of pleasure in this game. There's something about it that when I was younger, I played this game for hours at a time, for months on end. It's one of those, if I have a, a comfort game, I guess, it was Star Ocean 2. It, both in spite of and because of the fact that it was so easy to break. And I mean, it was easy to break in a lot of ways. Uh, I mentioned before that it was easily possible to... Uh, crash the game. You could crash this game very easily just by jumping off green. Whoa. Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, it's a little mandrake-looking dude. I think these guys can turn you to stone if you fuck up. Maybe not. Anyway, my uh, support characters seem to be out of... MP entirely. Probably remedy that. No clipping hedgehogs. Uh... Which one was that? Was it Sonic 06? Oh. Oh yeah, I love Sonic 06 so much. It's very frustrating at times. Oh! We got a treasure chest full of blackberries. Okay. Restore 22% MP. Yeah, alright. It's very frustrating at times, I have to say. It, uh... Back in my VOD, I swore at it as much as I swore by it. But I still love and trust in the heart of that game. Can I get anything out of this? Oh, it's an enemy encounter. Okay. We got enemies. Here they come. Yeah. Ha! 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 Take this. Ha! Air slap. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. Meteor bomb. Yeah. Ha! Take this. Meteor bomb. Ha! 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 There we go. Eight out of ten. For me, it was uh. Who would have guessed we could catch an enemy? Well, it was in the tutorial. 
For me, it was the, uh, the forest level where you have to swing on vines. I ended up going entirely the wrong way several times in a row. There's a reason you'll hear me occasionally go, let's run straight up. Because I heard that a lot. Let's run straight up. All right, cross cave. Let's explore the place. We can win this. Uh, we have a lot of gooey enemies here. There we go. Not too shabby. This isn't unexpected. Learn to laser beams. Excuse me. <laughs> Are yeah, I mean you're yeah. I want... I want to improve laser beams. A little bit. Uh, you should improve cure, though. I want to improve laser beams. I want more laser beams. Uh, recover 20% MP. There we go. Eat, drink your fruit milk, Reina. Uh, let's go this way, see if there's any chests. We better be careful. Here they come. Really, I really, really, really. This is yeah. This is my kind of game in a lot of ways. Yep, there's a chest. Oh, we might as well. Be careful. We better be careful. Say that's worth 10 out of 10. Get up. We have maxed out that little gauge in the corner and are now getting enormous combat buffs. And enormous amounts of money. I'm looking forward to what treasure this supposedly explored cave might hold. Me too. The enemy is We are, uh, our defense is so high, in fact, that nothing is actually making contact with Claude. We're getting hit, but it's for zero points. I kind of love that. Oh, did I accidentally pick the right path? Whoops. We obviously have to explore every corner of the cave. Obviously. Be careful. Seems like a fight is in order. So hopefully everybody's been having a decent week or if nothing else, a non exhausting week. I personally have slept a lot. And I like sleeping, so that's Definitely a plus for me. Uh, there is a question mark. 
if we go this way, apparently. I saw it on the map. Yeah, there is a question mark there. I wonder what that is. We're gonna find out. I would prefer you not attack the mages, please. Right now, they're kind of running away. Uh, what if I tell them to focus attack? Now they are largely escaping because of the danger. It's pretty exhausting, but things are non-distracting. Eh, brain fog. I hate brain fog. There's been a lot of times that I'm just like... I have no enthusiasm or energy for anything. I'm just gonna lay around. Do nothing. Selene's map shows that there's other routes, too. Okay. That is a difference in height, so... We've explored the entire thing. Got it. Uh... I am, however, gonna... Slap on the... Max MP up earring. I can't affect uh, Celine's equipment. Yeah, I mean, none of us are operating on 100% brain power at any time. I think that's fine. If you're ever in a situation that demands all of your brain and all of your attention, please get out of that situation. It sucks. Not a good time. Is there really treasure in here? You know what? I believe there is. Here they come! There we go. I would like to uh, go ahead and pump you girls full of fruit, or fruit milk, which we are now out of. I guess we're going to have to make more. Good thing we found all of that uh, dairy. Doubt and anticipation merely add to the thrill of treasure hunting. It's true. I demand rigidly defined areas of doubt and uncertainty when I'm hunting treasure. Not too Finally over. Anyway, we're gonna have to make more fruit milk in a bit. Uh, that will not be a problem. Oh look, we can get a chain. The enemy. Oh man, we knocked him silly. Did, did you both see the flipping? We turned that poor man into Syria for a minute. That was an air juggle I will remember. Whoa. Learn helmet break. Oh, good. Uh, this was one of my favorite moves back in the... Back in the, um... PlayStation version. I'm willing to swap over to it, I think. And I would actually like to improve this. If possible. Uh, helmet break. Yeah. Larger AOE, good. Helmet break is one is the move that I reference that would occasionally crash the game. You ready for this? The enemy, is it? What you do is you fling yourself into the air and you land on them. 
And occasionally, if an enemy was jumping or in midair themselves, you would uh, land on them and get carried up into the skybox. And then the game would crash. Literally just ignoring their attacks. Oh, we're out of MP. Yeah, we're really gonna have to make more fruit milk. I'd say that was eight out of ten. Let's do that now. Here goes. Ah, uh, we got a fr we got one. We got one fr fruit milk. That's fine. That's enough. I'll give it to Celine because she has laser beams. A resurrection miss? Some leather boots. Uh. No, I think I'll give this to Rana. She needs it more. Yeah, I'm always willing to let lasers take priority over practicality. Alright, now we just have to head up to the uh, northwest here. Nor yeah, northeast. Northeast, actually. Using this dodge gives you back MP, so... If I just trigger this, I get my MP back. There we go. Blueberries. There, there's so many ways to, to, to fuck around with this game. I... All of my old, my old techniques are coming back to me. I can, I can feel the power returning to my fist. Um... Right, I think we might actually have to go back around and jump down from one of those exclamation, those question mark points. Because there is a tunnel beneath us. Looks like they changed the layout of this cave a little. Can we do that? Is this is this something we can do? Yeah, okay. Uh, there's a lot of enemies clustered up in here. That's fine. Shining Star Ocean Fist! I love that move so much. I love that move so much. Yeah, just do a flip, kick them in the head, and stab them. Excellent. Excellent. Eggs and dairy. Make more fruit milk. Acquire uh, levels. Party is powered by fruit and cake. Ah, 
and there are the laser beams. <laughs> Maybe an idiot, but he is a shonen boy fighter. He is. I'm not sure silence does anything on these non-magic enemies. I may have to turn that off. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Uh, spells. That spells. Yeah, let's turn off silence for right now. He kinda has trunks hair. Mostly he has like a headband, which is kinda cool. Well, I'd say that's worth ten out of ten. Slimy gelatin! Oh boy! Can we actually make anything with slimy jelly? Slime, slimy jelly? Not yet. We can't. Um. Do want to remember to keep improving. Uh. These level 1 skills, but. We really need, uh, to get some pen and paper stuff, so Celine can start writing books. Celine writing books is going to be the lifeblood of the party. Ooh, it's purple! Contains silver! And a monster ambush! Yeah, Claude is currently impermeable to, uh, mortal life. I'm... I could probably just stand here and let them beat on me. I'm not, because I'm sane, but... Oh. Missed that, though. I got knocked out of midair by the, uh, counterattack. Gotta watch that. That's one for us. Very nice. Very nice. Another purple chest. Blackberries, and it spawns another monster ambush. Uh, welcome to power level central, where we're power leveling through no fault of our own. Whoopsie. Oh no, we lost the meter. Oh well. Selene's lasers are also uh, a vast source of resistance. And I think there was a moment or two when I considered not recruiting her because of various reasons. They were just well, way too weak. Ten out of ten. Now I think she's definitely going in the party. It may be difficult to keep two mages uh, in fruit milk and roll it on, but, uh, ooh, 30% MP up all allies. Yes. There's no way around. Sweet. J. 
chasing my mages around. A wrong turn somewhere? Looks like it. All that's there is this weird rock formation. Odd. The map says there's supposed to be a treasure room up ahead. You think that's a, uh, fake? Oh, it couldn't be. By the way, Arena. Yes? You can use healing spells, right? How do those work? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. I just woke up one day and I could cast them. There aren't any healing symbols in the field of symbology, you know. Oh? No, I didn't know. Oh, this map was expensive, too. Should we search for another path? Hmm, I suppose we'll have to. Uh, Zween, would you mind if I had a look at that map? Isn't there something written here? It's kind of small, but I think it's talking about spells or something. You're right! It's pretty faded, but it's definitely there! Why don't we do what it says, then? We might as well give it a shot. A passageway! We did it! Let's go! Let's go! Yes, exactly. Also, I like that uh, Celine takes a moment to call out Rena on... Whatever you're doing isn't supposed to exist. What is it? And Raina's just like, oh, I don't know. As I expected. This is amazing. There really was a hidden room. A treasure valuable enough to hide. This is so exciting. We found jade green columns. Massive deep deposits of Paroxene, undisturbed since time immemorial. Many treasure hunters set their sights on its riches, and just as many lose their lives along the way. Uh, they're sort of blue, actually. Not really... Anyway. Walls of the Soul. What is this? Mental science plus one. Interesting. Uh, what does mental science do? Let me just check that real quick. Raises your ability of compounding. So that'll help us make better potions. That's the kind of skill book that uh, Celine is going to be making. I'm going to give that to Rena for now. Make her our compounder. A sweet potion. What the? This treasure chest empty. Oh shit! We got enemies. Here they 
come. Well, let's thrash him. Hey, come back here. Uh, Selene over there learned Magic Missile at some point. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. So that was a serious boss fight. And we made it look easy. A wooden shield plus. Yeah, alright. An ancient text. Bingo, here it is. This is it? What is that thing? Some kind of ancient text. Not that I can read it or anything, though. How sad. This is beyond my deciphering ability. I guess we have no choice but to take this back to my home and consult with the Elder. Well, that, or find a linguist. Otherwise, we've hit a dead end. Very true. An AA device. And a Latika jewel. Interesting. Um... I have no idea what this is. Assault action. Summon characters not in the battle party to aid in combat. Oh. Oh, this is the uh, summon system. Right, this is a new feature in uh, Star o in Star Ocean Remake. You can summon heroes from past Star Oceans to do attacks. Yeah, I don't know who Latika is. Um, where did it say that was put? Item crafting, specialty, super specialty. Assault formation, okay. Uh, she will use Ultime Kamui. I don't know what the fuck that does. Sure, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, Latika is from Star Ocean 6. Which I believe is... Divine Force, maybe? It is on my list of games that I want to play, as is the entire Star Ocean series. It looks like we've completed some more challenge missions. Which is cool. Uh, a secret manual. Ooh. What is this? What does the secret manual do? Enables learning of the combat skill accumulation aid. I okay. Meteor rank plus plus one attack hits. Ooh. A gemstone containing memories of the first princess of the Arche Arceus Arcurius kingdom. Willing to sacrifice herself to end the war in her homeland. Okay, she sounds cool. Here's the assault action device. That's... Alright. So this is a big haul.
Uh, naturally, we're gonna try that as soon as we find an enemy. I'm curious what summoning her does. How do we get out of here south? And there's an enemy. Alright. Oh, uh, we have to wait for her to charge up. Okay. There's a little meter. You can see it there. And, and we've won the battle long before that meter got anywhere near full. <laughs> That's fine. Oh good, meter progress carries. You all right? I said that was eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. We can win this. Seems like a fight oh. is in order. Yeah, we might. <laughs> I don't think we're that strong. The enemies will scale up. They will get faster, they will get nastier, they will swarm us. Like, faster than, I think, Claw can swing a sword. But... Just because the game gets more brutal does not mean that I will slack off on getting more brutal. You two have been a lot of help to me, so let me thank you both. Oh, you don't have to. Our little expedition didn't turn up anything on the sorcery globe, though. This is new. So it was the sorcery globe that you two have been fussing about. That's right. And that's why we wanted to travel to the El Kingdom. Say, would you like to join us, Celine? Claude? Claude? <laughs> well, I just thought that your symbology could be a real asset to us on the trail. Hmm. I could certainly give it some thought. Really? Certainly. As in whether or not the pretty lady over there is okay with it, of course. Have we continued? Yeah, I think we should definitely have Celine join us properly. Oh, I'm sure Reyna wouldn't have any problem. We'd be happy to have you along. Claude, you dipshit. Right, Reyna? Yeah. Well, in that case, I think I will take you up on the offer. Harem anime! Excellent. Back to our original plan, then. Our next destination is Kurok. That is untrue. Our next destination is going to be to go fish everywhere we can, I think. But first off, uh, I am going to pause the game for a few minutes and step away. I need a few moments uh, for various things. I will be back very shortly.
Okay, I am back. I'm sorry about that. I went to pour myself a glass of water and realized I had actually, uh, left the glass in the sink. So it was not in my room to pour water into. So I had to go off and, you know, actually get some, get a glass so I could pour water into it. Feels ridiculous. Anyway. Um. We still do not have, uh. Any writing material for Celine yet. We will, we'll, we'll get that eventually. Right now I'm going to head back to town, stop at the inn, uh, look into shopping. Something like Marvel's on stream when like, yeah, be in launch mode. That could be interesting. I'm never sure how long I'm going to be away, though. And I don't want to leave something like that up and running, like, all the time in the background. It's an interesting thought, though. What I would like is get good old, like, After Dark or something. You remember the, uh, the, like, the flying toasters, screensaver and such? That's what I really want. So, what I gotta do someday is, uh... I know there's an HTML5 edition of After Dark. Somebody implemented a bunch of uh, HTML stuff to run screensavers. Alright, let's buy um, a better sword for Claude. We can afford a better sword for Claude. And some iron boots. And a nice soft padded helmet. Go and equip those. Now Claude's even more deadly, which is exactly what we needed, I guess. Um, new quests. Customization. Writing. Oh, good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the free writing abilities. Learn the item creation skill writing. We've already done that. That gives us a bunch of fountain pens. Use writing to make a walls of the soul. Someone who knows mental science use a fountain pen. I believe, uh... Just Does she, in fact, know much? She knows mental science. Indeed, learning a little bit of everything is probably a good idea for her, because... You know. But... Have her do some writing. Uh, success rate, 90%. On teaching mental science. Ah, uh, that's a success. We learned Formation Manual Flea. What does that mean? Escape Shift. Choose this if you want to make a run for it. I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. Um, 
Right, now that she's able to write stuff. At a pretty high level. Let's see. What I want is... Uh... Customization. Eye for detail, smithing, and aesthetic design. Let's see. Uh, aesthetic design. Eye for detail. And there was probably there was something else, and I've forgotten. Anyway, let's uh, have her get started on making some skill books that will improve those. Eye for detail. Uh, let's get up to level 2 on that. Start. Yeah! A success and a failure. Oops. Well, I do want one more of those, so... There we go. Ah. I don't have anything for eye for detail. I'm gonna have to learn that one manually, but... Uh, mental science level two. There we go. Aesthetic sense, and there was one other that you use in customizing, and I've forgotten what it is. Oh well. I need to find out what it is. Uh, customization. Smithing. Alright, can I make books that improve smithing? Uh, yes, but I need to be a little higher level to do so. Let's, uh, go ahead and improve that then, since writing is a lot of her reason to entry right now. Penmanship, right. Get that up to level 9. Write a couple of smithing books. There we go. And I mean, aside from the fountain pens, these are free. These are free skill points. Customization can now be used. Customization is something that I definitely want. Combine weapons in order to create new weapons. Higher the skill level, the greater the chance of success. Certain combinations can produce extremely powerful weapons. This is true. I want this up as high level as I can possibly get it. And soon. But, you know, I could, uh... Customize my longsword. And maybe if we save the game, I will do that. Uh, I learned the skill customization. Well, I've already done that. It's free material. It's free materials. Use customization to make a flame sword. I'll provide the materials. All right. Roots and five long. We have got five long swords for free. And some rubies. Made a flame sword. Has fire elemental attacks.
It also boosts Claude's power by 100, at least. So, you know... He's now even more lethal. Formation Wealth. Uh, prioritize gains. Oh yeah, be attitude for gains. More, get more experience, get more money. Yeah, we're moving to this formation. Rich get richer. Let's see, what else have we got? Um... Art mission. Celine knows art a little bit. Use art to make portrait A. Sure. Uh, let's report that we have... Hang out. Celine knows a little bit of art, too. We might as well, uh... Let her use it. The higher the skill level, the greater the chance of success. Uh, she's not actually... Very... Oh, that's because that's a level 10. Okay. Create a portrait of a party member. Let's use... Let's go ahead and make one. We're trying to make portrait A. Oh, she drew herself. Okay. Well, that's... That's in character. Uh, let's use a couple more. There we go, she drew the other two. Submit. We're good. Uh, use a kid in crafting to make a storm ring. We can do that. Yep, 100% success rate. Success rate. We can do it. Storm ring mid. Recover three hit points for every three seconds spent motionless in battle. Selene has discovered the talent originality. She did enough art that she realized she's good at art. Which is how art works, I think. You have to actually do it before you know whether you're any good at it. So, y'all may be starting to see how exactly you can bust this game wide open using, uh, customization stuff. And item crafting and all. Also, I love that, uh, Every item has a support item. Every item crafting has a support item that you can get. Uh, like the Magical Wrath will let you customize better. Or, uh, getting various flasks will help you with alchemy. For writing, the support item is like word processing software. You get fucking Microsoft Word up in there and it helps you write better. I love that. I... This game does so much dumb bullshit, and I love it all. You can, you really can Skyrim cheese the crap out of this game. Um... <laughs> Yo, the power of spell check is fucking compelling. Anyway, let's go back to, uh, Arlia, because I want to fish in the water there. Oh, 
Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting back in the rhythm of this game, basically. I'm getting back into the feel of it. You know, I didn't really connect until you said, uh, Skyrim cheese. Because, yeah, that's what, that's what it is. That's what a lot of it is, is Skyrim cheese. And, uh... I don't know how to put this exactly, but, like... This was long before Skyrim. This was, like, 1998. So, this kind of was, in a way, an Elder Scrolls game, like, Elder Scrolls Jr. for me. There's just so much to do that I kept getting lost and forgetting about the plot. And you didn't really get that in JRPGs at the time. Um, a lot of them were fairly linear or had a side quest that, you know, you could wander off and do them, but they were just cute little one-shots. You didn't have the chance to get completely lost in, like, an item creation menu for who knows how long. There's no way around it, We can win this. One for us. I don't know much about the SNES game, but I don't imagine it was quite as open or as... I could forget everything about the Sorcery Globe. Claude, no! They'll explain it to you again. Don't do it, man. Alright. Let's go fish. Okay, cart. Okay. Um... I think if we go into private action mode, and I haven't done this before, it splits the party up. Uh, I'm just wondering if there is... No. Doesn't look like it. I saw in a video that there was, um... A guy who'll teach you about fishing. But I don't actually see him. Anywhere. Maybe there's a side quest to get it done somewhere else. I don't know. Clear Sky Trout. That's a big one. Yeah, I, um... I don't know how to... I don't know if anything involves fishing. Like, if cooking involves fishing. Or if it's just for... Status, or... You can sell them, or what? And I don't know if there's a fishing list. I think there should be. Like, fishing... Fishing on. Bait. And yeah, good. Fishing involves fishing. It's for the soul. That, you you know, you're, you're right. How could I ever have doubted? What is fishing for? Fishing is for fishing. Hello, Keldon. Yeah, this... I was just talking about that. I was just talking about how much I absolutely love this game. It was kind of like Skyrim Jr. In a way, because... Uh, oh, there's a list of fish you can catch. Because you could just... Do so much. Uh, one moment. Yes! Big fish! Get big. Oh my god, it's a treasure chest. It has spectacles in it. Okay. Um, who was my favorite character? Precise. 
I was a precise fan. Uh, after her, Chisato. Ashen for- yeah, I mean, Ashen's cool, but Precise is, like, a gadgeteer a genius on a planet that doesn't fucking have technology. I love her for it. Alright, maybe we should do some of the private action- nah, let's save them. We'll save them for now. Anyway, um... Oh, don't worry. All the voice acting is different in this one. They have changed it to the, uh... They have changed it to, uh, the PSP cast. You ready for this? We can win this. Ha! Ha! That's one for us. Every time I pronounce a fictional name in a different way than you pronounce it. Why, Fleersward? Why would you... Why would you possibly say that? The enemy is it? We can win this. Ha! Uh, the current flawed voice is... Shinji Ikari from Evangelion. I kind of adore him because I love the Shinji Ikari voice. What's up, my dude? Ah, shoot. I'm supposed to go to a party, but I'm running late. Well, it sucks to be you. Anyway, um... Now that I think about it, let's go ahead and continue cheesing the game out. We're gonna have Celine continue uh, writing out couple of tech manuals. Uh, knife skills for Reyna. There we go. And I want, uh, more smithing power on Claude. Failure. She attacks those books into existence. She does. Alright, nice heels for Reyna. Smithing for Claude. <laughs> oh, because all it says is, hey, this smells bad. It does. It does smell bad. And for some reason, they eat it anyway. Uh, yep. We have a bunch of long swords, and we have this spare broadsword. Um, going to go ahead and bump medics and yeah, I think aesthetics is where I'm supposed to be going right now. A little bit of, uh, no. What was it? Aesthetic design. We have aesthetics and we have aesthetic design. Wh why is that? I don't know. Anyway, I definitely want better customization skills. There we go. Um... Now we should be able to do this 100%. I'm gonna go cuddle up to a save point real quick. And we'll see what can come of that. Let's save scum! One of them is looking aesthetic, the other is hammering aesthetic into existence. You're probably not wrong. All right, let's see what this does. We can handle this. Uh, broadsword plus. You just 
made it slightly cooler. That's... Let's try that again. We can handle this. A Sinclair! Uh, how is that compared to what we have? It is worse in every possible way. So we're gonna reload that. Uh, Kelvin, there's a lot that's changed, but... By and large, the... The quality of life features... R really help, I think. We can handle this. I turned it into a shield. A weirdly designed shield that's a bit embarrassing to wield. Yeah, this used to be a fucking sword. Is it any good? Uh, no? Kinda, of, maybe? What I'm learning is that working with Green Barrel is bullshit. Uh, we should probably not be doing it. Eh, what about just some iron? We can handle this. Ah, uh, that's a stringy sword. It sucks. Okay, now let's make it with Green Barrel. We can handle this. And we made the fucked up shield. When I talk about breaking this game over your knee with crafting skills... I don't mean always. Thank you for the really shitty fanfare. I don't mean you can do it all the time. Uh, let's see. Selene has a little bit of crafting skill. We could try crafting stuff. But... I guess I could defend myself with this hilt. It got dumb and wide. Dumb and wide is my middle n No, that's actually not my middle name. Dumb and wide is, uh, what I prefer to go for in, like, visual novels and dating sims. Anyway, let's, let's head up to Kirk. And in the me- Uh, my middle name starts with a Q. My god, you're right. Could be Kwamen Rai. Kwamen- Kwamen Rai. It could be Kumin Ryu. I am definitely not made of Kumin. Could be Kudoba. Yeah, like I said, my ideals are are, are wide. Kumin Rider Ma no. <laughs> I do not have a transformation belt. As much as I would like one. Hello, YouTube. Uh, there is a... We must be right in the middle of the Continent of Cross. Yeah. You might even say we're crisscross. No. No, let's not say that. We must be in the center of the center of center. It's true. We are in the center of the center. Anyway, I am gonna have to uh, make more skill books and have Celine give them to my characters so I can... Um... So I can, 
so I can go north. Um, where the fuck is north? I guess I have to go this. Ooh. Be There's no way around it, I guess. We're really strong. We're really mighty. Compared to these guys. One for us. Cotton is named Cross because it's a goddamn. Pr it is. And at the center of Cross is Cross, which is the capital of Cross. Cross fight. Cross fight. Cross fight. Just um, you never realize that. That's a shame. Yeah, I think I definitely have to go around and up. I am wondering if having the flame sword equipped is gonna bite me in the ass. Like, um... Is there any enemy coming up that's immune to fire? And I can't think of any, but there might well be. Here they come. Next time we need a firefighter, maybe. Um, come to think of it, though, we got that one cool ring, the meteor ring. Plus one attack hit increases. Yeah. I'm glad they changed a lot of stuff, honestly. Like... I think something like Final Fantasy VII R is way too fucking far. I think, uh, something like... Just a light remaster where you increase the polygon count is too little. I think this is pretty much nails just enough change to make it worth playing again. While still remaining, like, respectful to what made the game actually good. Easier than I thought. Why am I down on the beach? Because I saw fish and I my brain went into stupid idiot mode and now I have to go fishing. It what Live Alive did and change it to make just enough to make it feel right. Yeah. That is accurate, I think. Treasure! We must procure it at once. Okay, can I like get some fishing done here, folks? Or the enemy is it? Be careful. Now, apparently, we're just gonna get jumped by every enemy in the tri-state area. That was easier that was than I thought. Weak. Happily, they all suck, so that's not really a problem. But I do want to go fishing here at this cluster of fish. Fishing is new in this version. Uh, why did the screen black out? Because we just caught an enemy. Here's Mr. Enemy. Yeah, so Claude is now hitting twice every time he swings his sword. That is... Yet another stupid-ass overpower thing we have done. Love it. Lots of cross carps. I'm trying for these big fish here. 
Because they're big. And I want them. A black lotus. That's great. We've we can now go on the competitive magic circuit. I am very old, and that joke is probably years out of date. Just a couple more times. Come on, big fish. You know, I should really bait my hook with something, actually. That would probably help. Meanwhile, the monsters are just standing there watching me do this. I bait my hook. It allows me to attract larger fish. And catch an eel. Enemies just standing around watching me fish. I love this. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, hi guys. Oh yeah, now we're just whipping through these too. This is a, This is shameful. We can win this. There's no way around it. Yeah. That was easier that was than I thought. Weak. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, let's actually uh let's go see if we can find the plot. Alright, the plot. Ah, uh, the plot was not in this school of fish. Hello, you're green. Why are you green? What are you? Oh, it's these guys again. Oh, you're officially under leveled. You're so under leveled that it just gives me like the earth bound. Oh. Okay, you. The plot. You okay there, Arena? Um, I don't know. I actually have no idea if she's okay. I haven't really been paying attention to her. Uh, she may be out of MP. No? Alright. Anything up here? He was moving, okay. The enemy is it? Here they come. Not too shy. I'm glad everyone's safe. Whoa. I have to admit, I forgot that whatever this town is, is like, ten hundred billion miles away from civilization. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? How do I get to you? How do I... fuck... how do I... chest. Chest, come to me, chest. I'm gonna need other mobility options. We can handle this. We can Make my way back home and learn to fly? But it's you I fell into. Alright, I can't get up there, so I am going to, uh, just... Cruise on up to here, where I think the... Is the plot... No, I think I'm going the wrong way. How am I going the wrong way? 
Is there a chest under this bridge? No. Just fish. Town is a port town. It is by the sea. Well, it, it better also be up a mountain or else I'm in some real trouble. I'm going towards the not sea. No, I'm not. Place is making the treasure hunter within stir and excitement. Oh, there's the ruins. There's the ruins that you find, uh... What's his name? The whip dude. I never get him. Ernest. Safety shoes! You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. You're right, there it is. There's the town down there. It's a mile and a f million miles away from where I have chosen to go. Unfortunately, uh, we have sequence broken. Oops, oh no. More fish. No, no more fishing. No more fishing. Signs of a KQ from Moggington. You will not fish for the moment. No, no more fishing. Oh, enemy. Oh, it's these guys again. Yeah. Oh. That's one Too for us. For fishing is illegal. Never sequence broken as bad as you did the first time you played this game. Ah, uh, that demands storytelling. There is nothing here. Be careful, everyone. Oh, we got back attacked! I lost my meter! You bandits, you suck. I'm gonna stab you all in the ass. That's one for us. Went to the wrong side of the next continent. Oh, I do that all the time. You get precise early, I think. recruit precise before the tournament well you guys will see i i do tend to recruit her early looks like we can do some fishing around claude no precise is this con yeah you're right we might be coming up on her i just got lost the last time i tried fucking around and uh neener 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 Oh, there's a sandbar. Hold on. I need to go out on the sandbar. Perk is such a lovely port town. Truly a paradigm of scenic beauty. There is another one of those fucking flaming things out there. I don't know what those are. Potion of Merlin. Completely restore MP. Well, that's nice. Flames on the side of your fit. Do not get barbecued. Alright, we've arrived at the town. I'm gonna bait with Black Lotus. Big fish. Big fish, come to me. That is not a big... I caught the fucking sorcery globe. You remember Big Fit? I, uh... I love hidden object games with all of my heart. And I have some choice hidden object games set aside for... A rainy day or an up all night with Zizi stream. Desert Dab. Everybody hit the Desert Dab. Oh. Okay, I'm officially too old to make that joke. I, um... I feel bad now. Ooh. And here's a scenic point. The Dawn Lit Cascades. 
A waterfall beside Lake Cole that shines divinely in the sunlight, entrancing all who see it. They say some travelers even spend the whole day lost in its beauty. Rain alert! Laser beams! Everybody's learning laser beams! Lasers, lasers, lasers! I love you, lasers. No people older than you who did? Well, that's too bad. Kirk! Welcome to Kirk. Ship's docked in the harbor right now. Okay. Ah, uh, here's a bed, bath, and beyond, or... Looking good! I think I'll go hit the town now. Cool. You do that. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and stay the night. Um, I have to admit, the original version- hold on, I want to switch over so you guys can hear it. The original version of the hotel theme. I hate it. It's one of the few tracks in the soundtrack I hate. Here's why. On the PlayStation, the compression on that music made it sound like do 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 do, and it killed my brain every time it played. It killed my brain with musical beams of laser light. the The, the audio compression was not kind to that track. What's in here? Mansion on the hill. I forget what's in here. A liar. You know, for music. Commonly found in the hands of handsome, long-haired bards. You know, the spoony ones. Oh, pff. Unfortunately, there is a single bucket in the way of the staircase. So we can't go upstairs. The Bucket Crisis. Ah, uh, let's see. Resurrection elixirs, iron. Yeah, we, we probably should be buying a lot of this. Like, cooking supplies, meat. Uh, some fruit. We should probably be throwing our money at that, but uh, I am looking for something else before we start throwing money at stuff. What's this? There are no missions. Yeah, I do want to use a little bit of cooking. Who leaves a bucket directly in the middle of the bottom of the staircase? I don't know. Um, Rena can cook with fruit and meat, but if she gets up to level 4 cooking, we unlock a whole new suite. So... Hold on, what do we need to improve for better cooking? Knife? And... Uh, well, I can just look it up here. No. I'll look it up here. Cooking is keen kitchen. No. What the fuck do I have to improve for this? I've forgotten. Uh, recipe, keen eye, okay. I think I will improve that a little bit. Uh, I will see if Celine can write books about the others. Yeah, she can write recipe books. That's fine. Books. 
There we go. Now she's level 5 at cooking. We've unlocked a big suite of new recipes. At level 7 we get more. Let's make some, uh, let's start with the dairy. We have five of those. Here goes. Success, nothing new. Oh wait, there is one thing new. Egg on bacon. Where did she get the bacon? I don't know. Uh, we have some vegetables. Let's create some vegetable dishes. Spring roll, pork, cabbage, bean, vermicelli, and bamboo, wrapped in a thin skin and deep fried. Carrot juice, which is a juice made of carrots. Pickled vegetables. No, that's a half decent recovery. Pumpkin croquettes. I want pumpkin croquettes now. I have never wanted anything more in my life, actually. Uh, can, are we good enough to... No. We are not yet good enough for, like, Master Chef, though. I'm gonna have to actually work on that. So let's just go ahead and use up our ingredients. Here goes. Couple of fruits. Pear into peaches! Orange sherbet. And orange soda. Okay. And finally, the meat. Gyoza dumplings. God, that sounds delicious. Beef croquettes. Steamed buns. Yeah. First game you ever encountered an Iron Chef reference in. I think... I can't remember if mine was, um... This or Soikoden. You can make gyoza? I'm interested in gyoza. Ooh, a goodie box. Okay, we are hitting a save point right now, I think. Or we should. If a goodie box is what I think it is. We are about to save scum our asses off. Yes. A magical box that contains three different items. This can be pretty much... Uh, this is not any three items in the game. But it is a ridiculous amount of items. And it includes stuff from disc 2 of the game. Meaning, you know, really great... Weapons, high-end accessories. This is what was a treasure chest in the, uh, PlayStation game. The thing is, it's randomized. So, who's ready to save scum? I am. Uh, relaxed perfume, venomous stingers, and a plate helmet. Eh, they kind of... They're okay, but we can do better. Goodie boxes existed too? I thought this was the, uh... Oh, different item pools? Okay. Sacrifice pill, venomous stingers, and a paralysis cure. Damage is equal near my enemies by an amount equal to own raining HP, but incapacitates the user. Unfortunately, I have seen no evidence that bubble lotion exists in this game. Uh, bubble lotion is an item that has a flat death, a flat chance of instant death, and it works on anything. It's how I killed the final boss uh, at least once. Try emblems and a dictionary. Uh, I think the dictionary may be the best equipment we could get currently for Leon, who will not join the party for about 20, 20, 30 hours. Meanwhile, these are... Oh, there's something. Yeah, the try emblem is not the try emblem.
Hi, Diaz is boring, in my opinion. Uh, in a, I have to admit though, in a game full of actions that b emphasize characterization against everything else, it is really funny that he just goes straight to bed and stays there every time. Sandals, a wealth card, yeah. Uh. I love Leon because he's just an adorable little derp in a lab coat. He is of the, like, hyper genius child archetype. I think he's great. A fanfic! Okay. A spark whip. This is a whip for a character that we're not gonna get. Ever. So, we're not keeping this roll. Oh, this sucks. No. Um, welcome to Zyzy Rerolls Gotcha 9,000 times on stream. We got fanfic. The soul of a fan converted into book form. No longer just a fan. The author finds some renown. And fanfic? Thoughts of a fan converted into book form. Let's just say the results are interesting. We could uh, sell those fanfics to a publisher. I believe. Uh, nope. Don't want this roll. I'm... I'm addicted to gacha. Help. Reference book, seafood, and the atomic puncher. Uh... Oh, holy bananas. Yeah, um... I think we're keeping... Like, new Eden equipment, yeah, uh... You know, I love Precise so much that I am probably gonna have her in the battle party at, like, all times. So, um... I think this is it, folks. I think this is the one. We got the Atomic Fist. I'm going ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and save. Here's Mr. Enemy, my ass. There goes Mr. Enemy. He's accelerating over the fucking horizon. Ah, uh, let's see. We have weapons and armor. Yeah. See, uh, with enough customization and with enough learning and whatnot, we can just make all the items and shops obsolete. Uh, we're not gonna do that right now, but eventually we're gonna be able to. Here's a tavern. Derek's basically a tourist spot. The best way to enjoy it is to take your time. Like me. I can't afford more than this one drink, so I'm gonna drink it really slow. Hey, hurry up in there. Oh no, that guy has to pee. I'm not drunk, not at all. We hit what would have been disc two. Uh oh, you mean the customization stuff? Yeah. Oh, is this the um? Excuse me. I don't think this is legal. That's bigger than the fucking fountain! Oh god, is this the place where I would want to pickpocket a girl for, uh, for, for, for secret treasure? Folks who remember Star Ocean, uh, do you remember... If this is where I should have pickpocketing... Oh, 
one in the What are the fish even do? Once again, I don't remember anything. Maybe this is just a normal state of mind. Oh god. Thank you for triggering every sound effect I want. Uh, what do the fish even do? You can turn them into, uh... Particular people for... Uh... This is the right one for that? Alright, yeah, I need to, uh... I gotta drop back, save, and we gotta fucking reconvene on some shit. So there is a cool secret that you can get if you pickpocket a particular person in town before some events happen here. Problem is, uh, I am absolutely butt face at pickpocketing. We need nimble fingers on somebody. Who has nimble fingers? Has any... Hi, Claude. Hi, hi, derpy PS1 Claude. Does anybody have nimble fingers? No, nobody has it. Okay. 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 Uh... I think Celine is out of writing utensils. Can you get Ashton? Uh, probably? Yeah, there are uh, three varieties of artwork you can see. You can switch it to the original artwork. You can switch it to the remake artwork. Or you can switch it to the PSP artwork, which looks like somebody hit poor Claude with, like, the simplification ray. Okay, I need to... Get. Can we get Ashton now? I don't know. Uh, the SO2 anime artwork is based heavily on the PSP art. No, I think it may be the other way around. Uh, alright, we gotta pick up a couple levels of poker face. Pick up a poker face. And a couple levels of courage. Um, I don't know how many levels of pickpocketing we're going to need. Save, and I want to check something. The thing is, I can't remember how you actually get Ashton. I have genuinely forgotten. But yeah, I want to check and see how, uh... Go back to Salva. Kurik, you must leave this town at once. A great storm of destruction is on its way towards Kurik at this very moment. What's going on here? This woman was just shouting some nonsense. Just shouting some nonsense. She as is one does. that Kurik is about to be completely destroyed, and that the only way to survive is to get away from the town right now. Well, that's silly. How could that possibly happen? There is still time to act. Please, you must begin evacuating at once. There is not much time left. I beg you. Please, you must believe me. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, there's a ton of boy packing in this Poor game. Oh, girl. Something must have gone loose in her head. Anyway, I just want to check, uh... No, how do I use pickpocketing? You do not have the required item. Oh god, right, I need a fucking glove. Right, let's reload. I need a thief glove, that's right, I do. Anyway, let's go back and get Ashton, because we forgot about best guy. Like, he's definitely the best guy in the game. Uh, I don't know about the rest of it. Yeah, I, 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 um, 
I've taken Opera a couple of times, but I can't remember anything about her. To me, Precise will always be the best girl, but we're gonna try out getting Welch this time, too. Head back to Salva. Um. Got a fucking. Font. Where's Salva? Again. Second cat. Oh, right! Frig. For some reason, I thought he was, uh, I thought, like, you had to read a bulletin board about the dragon, and then, uh, go find him again. Raid. Hello, raiders. It's good to see you. I have no idea who any of you are, but, uh, I am glad that you're here. I'm playing Star Ocean. I'm breaking Star Ocean. I'm, uh, I'm messing around and having a good time. I hope you're all having a good time, too. Alright, we are hiking cross. I have the feeling you're being watched. That the eyes of strange, eerie things are upon you. Childhood favorite. It, it, it was mine, too. This was my proto Skyrim. This was a game you just get lost in. Swim forever, as they say. But right, we can go back and uh, investigate stuff now. I can't believe I nearly forgot Ashton existed. It's been many, many years since I played this game, clearly. And I have become dumb. And there is a treasure chest over there. Lunar Talisman, what is that? Max hit points plus 20. Yeah, all right. Have more hit points. Can I get... Does anybody... Nope. Big fat nothing. Big... Well, I could give her the safety shoes, but Rana's already wearing those. Anyway, yes, hello. I have become comfortably dumb. Yeah, though, um, I know I'm supposed to be able to turn in the fish you get from fishing somewhere. I have no idea where. I don't know if it says somewhere in, like, the help functionality. Maybe? Oh good, there's lore. Uh, fishing, fishing. Oh, I'm just wondering where you turn in, like, fish. Um... Catch a fish. Lord of fish will be marked by icons. Yeah, it doesn't really say. That's fine. Alright, back. We're going back to potatoes to get power, Ashton. I forget how we do that. I think we just... Do we just go in here? Just wander into the mines and, uh... Pick him up. Talk around town. I don't suppose we're allowed to take any gems with us. Uh, Celine Jules is really like Rouge the Bat in a shower curtain. Need to do a private action. That would make sense. I've been holding off on private actions. Let's swap to private action mode. Like, I don't want to expend the private actions before, uh... Before I get too many people in my party. Stop running around so much. You're making me dizzy. Somebody will be talking about a job there, the mercenary of the mines. That sounds like what I was thinking, like reading one of these bulletin boards. But 
This side of town's much nicer than the north side, where they've got the mine. I do not see a difference, my dude. In the bar, that would make sense. It might be after Kurik. It... Right, because you have to go to a different town. You have to go all the way across the continent, and, uh... I think this might be too early. Ah, uh, ain't nothing like that for a drink of the day. You have any talents? You might want to check out the status screen to see if you do. So difficult to cook when you have such a terrible sense of taste. Yeah, I don't... I think we might be a little too early. I am gonna, uh... I'm gonna poke around in the... The thief gloves are in a port town on the east side of the continent. Harley. I think that's also where Ashton is. Might need to sequence break for them. I have no problem with that. I am, however, gonna go see if we're allowed to go into the dragon hut right now. Probably not. We're probably not allowed at all. Let's... Actually, let's just go to Harley. But yes, I have been to Harley. Uh... If you folks are wondering, like, is this the intended way you play Star Ocean? Is this how you're supposed to play the game? The answer is no. Uh, you're, you're probably pretty much supposed to just wander from town to town, following the plot. However, is it fun to sequence break and fuck over Star Ocean? Yeah, it really is. I... I love it. Have, I am definitely... I love... I love everything about this game. The scenery, the music, the, uh, the... Big, poofy enemy ball. And I think it's not like we need additional help. So one thing about the PlayStation game that was kind of frustrating. Uh, magic stopped the game dead. To watch a little cutscene of the spell going off. Like, Reyna would shout, CRUSH! And then a weight would appear... And it would stop the game and make you watch it fall. And then it would give you control back. Um. That is not a problem here. Oh yeah. It's just like, go have a sandwich. Uh, mostly that made me run a party with as few mages as possible in it. Except that there was also this cool, uh, combination thing that magic could, could do occasionally, extraordinarily rarely. Where, like, it would fuse two spells together and give you a weird result. And I'm very sad that that system isn't still here. On the other hand, magic now comes out, like, a billion times faster and is actually useful for things. So, I can't complain... Too hard. What are those flaming balls? Magic canvas. Casting a spell on the mountain. The enemy is it? We can win this. I feel so OP and I love it. Fucking laser beam. Laser beam. 
If I could cast magic lasers, I would be, like, Dazzler. Like, I would never leave the house. I would just be, like, putting on a disco show 24-7. Weren't we supposed to be going to Kurik? Oh, yeah, right. Kurik is north of Cross City, isn't it? We've gone really far off course. Yeah, we have. I don't care. Let's, uh... Let's just chill in this warehouse. There's a girl living in this town who's suffering from an incurable disease. Wow, I'm, I'm sure she appreciates you telling every person who walks by. Um... There's an exclamation point over here. The sea is beautiful. And so is the harbor. I wonder what kind of fish there are here. Want to try catching some fish? Hey, hey, hey! Did I hear somebody say fishing? You're gonna make some crazy money! Huh? Did you say that you're gonna fish? Maybe I did. You wanna fish? You like fishing? You're exploring this point? You must have great vision. What fish have you caught? What points were there? Hey! Uh, just a minute? What's going on? Uh, I'm afraid you're being accosted, Claude. Oh, sorry. It's not often I meet fishermen from another planet. I got a little carried away. But who are you? Claude? The name's real. I like fish and fishing just a little more than most people. What a cute girl. My dream is to catch every kind of fish in the world. In port, they call me the fish collector. It's a little embarrassing, but I'm glad to meet you. Huh. Wonder who said it. And since fate happened to bring us together in this little corner of the vastness of space, I am a favor to ask. Really, Fishy? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that outfit. Let's take that outfit in for a moment. I want to catch every kind of fish in the world, but it's a little difficult to do on my own, and so... You mean, you want the fish we catch? You catch on quick, but don't misunderstand me. I'm not going to take your catch, see? I simply want you to show me your fish picture encyclopedia regularly. Of course, I'll make it worth your while. Also, if you catch more fish than you need, I'll buy the extras for you at a fair price. Report your catches to earn fish. You won't turn rewards you won't find anywhere else. Uh, exchange fish for items. Exchange fish will be lost. Earn rewards based on the total kinds of fish you get. Okay. See? I'll get to see many different fish and you'll get to earn a little cash. Fair exchange, right? Hey, hey, hey. Makes sense. It's fine with me. Yahoo! Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm so happy. Yahoo! Yeah. If it makes you that happy, it'd be my pleasure. I'll work hard to show you lots of fish. Alright! This is a poor showing of my gratitude, but take it. Life in nature and pocket encyclopedias. Yahoo! What's this? This is my life's work. A manual containing all the secrets of fishing. Just reading it will greatly improve your fishing skills. You may be able to catch a fish that no one has ever caught before. I'm always around here, so when you fill up your fish picture encyclopedia, bring it here and show me. I'll have something to make it worth your while. Be sure to come back and see me. 
Best of luck to you. I might be able to catch a fountain snake. Uh, can learn biology and item knowledge. Biology and item knowledge. Alright. I guess we'll slap those on Claude. Claude now knows what an item is. That is a step up for him. How's it looking? Uh, level 4 fishing. So, yeah, we can just bloop. Imp mech, okay. Um, hey, 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 how's it going? Can't you new fish? Alright. You caught five types of fish? I wouldn't have expected any less from such a promising fisherman. Here's a little token of my thanks. An experience card. Caught ten types of fish. Fishy fragrance. And what are you doing today? Uh, rewards list. Masterwork rod. That's for fifteen types. Oh, Keldon, you're not gonna bait me into responding that easily. The Raymond Jewel. Enables the addition of Raymond, a protagonist from Star Ocean 6, to assaults. Soul Jacket. That's good armor. Oh my god. That looks like if you shrug, you would immediately stab yourself in the side of the head and die. Look at those fucking blades. Soul Helmet, in case we want to do some Dark Souls cosplay. Ring of the Deep King. Pack with 50. And a really badass looking stick. Okay. Okay. And we can trade fish for... Straight up... We can trade up straight fish for skill books. Oh, if we catch though. Okay. Uh, Traveling Salmon. I see. We- Oh! Edge- Oh, good! We can get the ability to summon Edge Maverick. One of the other Star Ocean protagonists. Okay, well, um... Now, we have to have all of these, though. Oh. Well, alright, yeah, let's go ahead and... Learn a little more fishing biology. Alright, so that's good. Sorry, can't get to liqueur. The ocean's too rough right now. Yeah, I think we have to wait a little bit on Ashton. But I do think I can pick up a uh, thief glove somewhere here in town. No missions we can take. Uh, have We have cleared a couple of missions, though. Walk a total of 12,000 steps. Okay. Gives us healing formation. What does that do? Uh, formation. Uh, it turns on regeneration, apparently. Wait. Oh, no. The bonus gauge is what controls whether you get bonuses from this or not. I see. Not total battles. Okay, that's no problem. We can increase the bonus gauge some more. Shop here in town? Yeah, it's probably this one. Just got in a whole bunch of stuff from the core. Um... It is not this one. Hope you buy something next time, you cheapskate rat ass. Antique shop? 
Peace Glove, forty thousand frickin' dollars. All right, we can. Let's go ahead and sell our portraits. Nobody wants a portrait of Claude. That's, that's actually sad. And it looks like we're going to be doing some grinding. Um... Yeah, they pay for themselves. Are we going to sit here on stream and grind out the money? I don't know. This does effectively... Well, it would stop progress in the plot if I... Hmm... Let's check something. Hey. Hey. Ah, I wanted a link. Alright. For just a couple of seconds of whacking enemies with a stick, we get 24 fall. Uh, that's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a fucking while. All right, what can we make with item crafting that sells well? Look at your chivos. Uh, what missions? Use art 30 times, customization 30 times, appraising. These do have fall rewards, don't they? Fishing 30 times. Well, we can get that, but... Compose one song with music. That would require, uh, let's see. Well, we could, but we'd ha probably have to save scum it. Use feather pens to compose songs. Oh, we don't have any feather pens, do we? We have no feather pens. All right, what else we got? Um, use art, use writing. Ten pieces of equipment with factors attached. That's something. Catch three fish at once with fishing. Huh. Purity that gives you fall for leveling it. That's true. I spend a total of... Okay. We're definitely not getting anything out of that. Uh... Let's see. Reach art level 10. We can probably... Ooh... Celine! Celine, honey! Reach writing level 10. Let's go get our fucking thief rift. No grind required. That's true. You just saved us some time. Congratulations. By the power of pickpocketing. Just the one, please. Okay. Let's see if we can develop nimble fingers. Yeah, time to fail 80 pickpockets. I'm gonna save and, um... 
You can't save in private action mode. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we can skip this. Let's save. Split the party. And fuck up some pickpocketing. Um, isn't there, uh, like, a quick button for that? Yeah, there is. Steal items from other characters. Higher the skill level, the greater the chance of success. Many characters have rare items in their position. possession. Can you be tempted into crime? Absolutely. Absolutely I can. Nibble fingers can be done by learning machinery. Uh, that's a point, actually. Machinery and operation. Um... No, Smoothie doesn't have any more pens. Otherwise, I would write books to do that, but... I guess we're just gonna have to, uh... Go ahead and buy it on Claw the old-fashioned way. Machinist level 2. Let's see. Can he actually make anything with it real quick? Create various machines. Uh, support items. We need a mechanics toolbox, which I do not have. Well, maybe we just unlock that in the guild. No missions, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and start pickpocketing. Zero, zero, zero. Oh god, uh... Oh, God. It is time to fail 80 pickpockets. <laughs> Alright, I don't care. It's not important. Let's do it. A bloody driver? What the fuck is that? Pickpocketing failed. Friendship level has changed. Oh no! That's fine, that's fine. I can fix the friendship levels later. Okay, um... Claude? Um, it's all zero percent. It's all zero percent. And he's not developing, uh, nimble fingers either. Okay, let's reload and go back to Arlia and see if there's any easier chances there. Uh, alternately, I guess I could just improve his skills. Poker face and... Courage. That gets him up to level 5 pickpocketing. Uh... Try and turn that on. One percent! One percent! Claude! Honey! Darling! Well, you know, one percent isn't zero percent. 
also got my entire team with me, yeah. But I don't think going into private action mode helps. Yeah, no. I wasn't born yesterday, punk! Too bad. One percent isn't zero percent. There's a chance. By God, there's a chance. Yeah, friendship level still changes. They've they've altered that. It no longer matters if your party is split up. But it's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it later. All I need is a success. Can't fix my fingers getting in everyone's pockets? Yes, I can. I want to steal. But yeah, everybody's gonna hate me for this. It's cool. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's try to steal that from me. I dare you. I am. I am trying to steal it from you. Yeah, no. I don't think we're gonna, uh... This is how you this is how you play Star Ocean. I think there's a sick child in this mansion. We're gonna try to steal from her. Rottens? Alright, you know what? Maybe our problem is that we're, uh, we're in a town where it's hard to steal from people. Maybe, maybe we gotta go back to, like, Salva. Yeah, fast travel, it's great, I love it. No, this is still 1%. You want me to lend you something? Just ask, Claude. No, I have to steal it. Pathetic. How could you do that, Claude? I misjudged you. You have... What level is my pickpocketing? Five. I probably need, like, way more... Uh, to get anywhere. We're gonna reload again. We're gonna go ahead and skip. Just get it maxed. Uh, I can't. I need more SP. Alright, we need more SP. Let's look at the missions list. Anything give SP. 5 SP. Uh, mechanics tool... Oh, that's for using Machinus, which we can't use unless we have mechanics toolboxes. In any event, we, uh, have a, a thing for using fishing twice more, so let's go fishing twice more. You know, the important stuff. It's fun to steal. It's fun to break hard. I am, uh, I'm very good at stealing. I'm just absolutely lousy at, at getting away with it. So they take it back immediately. Uh, 
All right, we did some fishing. Now we get uh, more life in nature and more pocket encyclopedia, which does not help us with our current plight, but does give us more biology. Oh, we can only learn up to level seven. That's interesting. That's that's concerning. Only use skill books up to level seven. All right. Okay. That's fair. That's valid. I can... <sighs> there has to be a way. Ah, uh, that's a little bit of SP. Oh, I can't really think what would get us up there. Reaching pickpocketing level 10 gives us a whole crap load of money. That's actually very funny. I like that. Well, um... Rewards list. Alright, we need more types of fish. There are a couple more types of fish we can pick up. I'm gonna try chumming and see what that does. you get more fish at a time. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try fishing with the imp ma the imp mackerel? What could we... I'm not seeing anything that would help us catch that large there. So let's try the sardine. They have idle animations, yes. your line. Alright. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fast travel back to Arlia. We're gonna have a quick look and see uh, what fish we might be able to catch easily out here. Because, um... Flair, did you forget that, like, torrenting would make the stream crash? Oh. Okay. Alright, there's nothing here. Um, Salvi, I don't think, has any water. Cross City might. Cross has a moat around it. We can catch from there. We have caught every fish here. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna try the water over this way. Only three people in existence willing and able to crack Denuvo. It's true. And I think one of them may have retired. You know... I'm sorry, folks. Um, it's occurred to me that we have made functionally almost no plot progress whatsoever tonight. Uh, this will continue. Star Ocean is that kind of game.
Yes, you personally are becoming stronger. Ah, we can't get to the beach from here. Gordon's alive! Trail, watch out! A poisonous snake! Dive! I would love to, but unfortunately, I have no jump button and I must scream. There has to be water around here some in place. All right, let's, uh, fast travel. The Lacus Mountains! Wait a minute! We've leveled a lot! Can we beat the enemies here? They're still in the red, but... I remember beating up on these orbs all the time. Oh my, they are still pretty beefy. Nope, I got instant fucking killed. I got ultra murdered. I got, uh, I am dead as, but, wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's try that again. Let's try that one more time. We are ultra super not supposed to be here. But if we can live. No? Okay. Unfortunately, uh, Rena can't really penetrate with her weapon. What was that girl? That was, um, a summon you can use. It's called the Assault System. She's one of the protagonists of Star Ocean 6. You can now summon party members who are outside battle to, uh, lend a hand, do, do an assist move. She does something called Ultimate Kamui. I have no idea what it is because I've never actually seen the animation uninterrupted. I'm gonna try summoning her as soon as we go in. Let's see if she can help out. Yo! Fucking tables turned! Ah, uh, that's big experience. This isn't unexpected. You know, maybe I should train Celine to uh, pickpocket. It'll reduce the party's opinion of her, but she has the power. She has the power of pickpocketing, and she has kind of lousy. SP reserve, actually. Hmm. I don't know about this one, actually. I don't think she's gonna... I don't think that would actually teach her all that much. Not with what we've got. That said, maybe I can unlock Claude's ability to do something. And that'll teach him a little more stuff. So, let's give Claude art. 
and have him paint. We can handle this. He immediately paints all three party members. Uh, do you already have Originality and composition. Shit. He already knows how to do that. Um. How about taste? I can make him a cook real quick. Like a level one cook. Knife skills. Keen eye recipe. Okay, you're a level one cook now, Claude. Cook us a cook. You make some seafood stuff. We can handle this. Seaweed miso soup. Okay. What I want to do, I think, is spam. Uh. Spam some cooking stuff on Claude until he is... Until he learns, like, sense of taste. And then I can boost his... We can do this. Uh, that gives him, like, a hundred points to work with. Well, I'd say that's worth a ten out of ten. For the re I want to go on record as noting that this is stupid. If you're playing this for your first time, do not do anything I'm doing. Do not imitate me. What I'm doing is dumb, and it has no real purpose other than to cheese the game for the game's sake. Best experience blind and stumbling. Yeah, I am kind of ruining a lot of stuff here, but it's fine. It's cool. Uh, rest well, Keldon. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna buy some some cheap shit, some, some vegetables, some dairy. Okay, I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna throw the the Claude. Claude learned to cook. We can handle this. Uh, wilted salad. How old is this salad? Claude learned to cook. We can handle this. Failure. Old milk. Ah, my stomach! Uh, did you learn sense of taste? No. You will learn sense of taste, Claude. You will learn how to taste food. Failure. Bitter cake. Bitter cake. That's lovely. We can handle this. Yeah, there was a pop-up if you learned a thing. I remember that. He is not, however. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and buy grains. Like, this is not a good idea, this is a kind of a dumb idea, but I kind of want to learn what grains make. We can handle this. All success, one failure. Gruel, bean paste buns, rattle miso soup, radish miso soup, stinky bean cake. Ew, is it me or does it smell funny? I love that. I love it. Um, 
Well, you're not really picking up a sense of taste here. Maybe he's too successful. We can handle this. Couldn't carry any more yogurt. Oh. Well, sh okay. Uh, challenge mission. Catch three fish at once with fishing. Okay. We've done that. Uh, we've probably used... Youth cooking a hundred times. That's a lot of money. Catch six fish at once. Uh, I will wait to redeem this until after I've used more fishy fragrance. What do I need for pickpocketing again? Courage, I need 176 and 148. That's a lot. Like, even, uh, cooking. Even cooking isn't gonna do it. That'll just give me 100, I think. Banana crepe. Delicious. One more go around. Grimly cooking. We can handle this. Bitter juice. I don't think I should serve this. All right. Okay. Uh. And I don't have anything I can write that would even... Dang it, Claude. Originality. Do you have originality? Uh. Does have originality. Wait, crafting can give him nimble fingers. Oh, right. Doesn't have it. Uh. What can give you crafting? Mineralogy. Alright, that's one point. That's a one point investment. I'm willing to make that. I'm willing to spend up to like 12 points in that. If it helps. I'm gonna go save. We're gonna see if we can teach him nimble fingers. I will blow through all of my useless crud. Trying to get him the ability to pickpocket worth a dang. Alright, Claude. Uh, you can work at level one stuff. You have... Let's craft five iron things. We can handle it. Couple successes, a couple failures. Amulet of anti venom, weighty ring, flame earring, a high grade heavy ring. Wow. 
Okay, how about you try and make some stuff with silver? You'll definitely fail at that. We can handle this. And maybe the failure will teach you something. No. Failure did not teach you anything. We can handle this. God, honey, please. Yay! Nimble fingers! Let's split the party and see if that raised his ability to pickpocket any. Let's go. It did. A little bit. It's not great, but it's better. And we can make it even better than that. Um... No, we can't. Alright. It's not perfect, but it is double digits. Uh, hold on, I need to plug in my phone real quick. Uh, it is down to, like, 10% battery. That's bad. There we go. That's plugged in. Okay, now we're gonna go back to, uh... Turek, I believe. Where we can't fast travel there at all. So we're gonna walk there. Then we're gonna save. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can do that pickpocketing bullshit nonsense that I've been trying to get done. And if not, we may have to... to finagle some more. We may have to finagle some more. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but... I have goals. And they must be met. No, we have to go around the mountain, don't we? We have to go around the mountain. We'll be coming around the mountain when we come. Star Ocean. <laughs> Folks, um... I think it was Silver who asked me why this specific Star Ocean? Why did they keep remaking this one? Why have they made this game like three times? And... I hope I'm showing some of why that is, you know? None of the other games in the series quite do this. They're, they're, they're not as broken. They're not as weird. They're not as, as engagingly fucked up. Uh, can I fish in this lake? Yeah, but we've already completed this fishing spot. And I mean, um... I love it. Be careful. Seems like a fight is in order. Alright. That was easier than I thought. Uh, can we fish? We can fish here, obviously. There is one thing we haven't caught yet here. There's no way around it, we I can guess. win this. I hope. I keep pushing the button for uh for like I'll let you handle it or whatever, and I keep messing that up. Not really what I want to do. Anyway, yeah, uh See if we can catch something. Double fish. Please stop like staring directly into the camera, enemies. Here they come. Oops. 
just some random minions. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Actually, Claw's pretty close to a level up. Um, we can keep getting chains. That might help. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there, too. Yeah, become verbally denounced. Losers. The enemy is it. Be careful. Undeniable proof that we totally own you laners. That's one for us. Way too weak. Excellent! Uh, what is this one? This is still cross, okay. We don't need to fish here, but... Oh no, did I just... Be careful. No, I did not get back attacked. They were just way too weak. Clean's brutal. Alright, that's for potion combining. Can I get a link here? Can I get a link here? There we go. And that's a level for Claude. Uh, we can bump one thing, I think. Not Courage, we can bump Poker Face. That will not improve pickpocketing. Would Courage? No. I need both of them up. Dang. Alright, well, I could, uh, go for purity or raises an ability score per level. I could, like, take purity, deity, ESB, but I'm gonna take poker face. And just hope. I've done everything I can to prepare. Now it's all down to save stunning. Welcome to a magical land called Save Scum. I'm your host, Let's Isaac KQ for Mockington. And uh, we're gonna be Save Scumming tonight. Um, is this the same? Yeah, it's the same fishing. Well. There's one question mark fish here. I'm gonna see if I can reel it in. Just on a quick try. Nope. <laughs> I wish I could say... Low odds, heavy resets. Ah. Uh. We are going to a special place. Private action mode. How am I looking? How 50 25 25 those are numbers. Those are real fucking numbers. Those numbers exist. So... Uh, we have seen this scene.
I don't remember which one it is. I think it's Sprite's bracelet? Failed. 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 Reloading. I think it's a Sprite's bracelet, which is what we want. Uh... Sword, if you happen to be out there, can you confirm that? Skip this scene. Pickpocket. Failed. Yes. Okay, what does this actually do? Chance to obtain items while walking. Yes. This is what we wanted. This dumps items in our inventory as we walk around. Including those treasure chests that I mentioned earlier before. Yeah, like the pickup ability in Pokemon. Alright, now I could push my luck and keep pickpocketing, but right now, I think, let's not. And actually, I want to talk to her properly as long as I'm in, you know, private action mode. I want to make sure to talk to the- oh no, she's gone already. I think I forgot- I think I just fucked up. I think I'm gonna have to do that again. I think you're actually supposed to talk to her. Which means, uh... Whoops. Well, we know that it's possible now, so it's not impossible. It's cool then. We, we can do this. Failed. 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 Okay. We do have to actually talk to her. I got so excited that I forgot the last part of the thing. <laughs> you know, it's fine. We beat the odds once, we can do it again. The odds are for beating. Fail. 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 Odds are for beating. Now, we are at like 3 hours, 20 minutes. I have barely progressed the plot in any way. I'm sorry. Yeah, um... After this, and after the events that happen here, I may go ahead and, uh, drop off, and we'll continue tomorrow. But... This time did fly by, and it's because this game is so goddamn good. Like, I did nothing but faff around, and it's still so good. Got it. Now we talk to her. Please, you must believe me. Okay. Okay. We've done the thing. We, we did the thing. Thing is done. Let me clip it. We're cool. Talk to my party, just to be sure. You think that's true? If it is, the town's residents could be in serious danger. I'm sure she just spent a little much too, still too much time at the bottle. The idea of the entire town could be destroyed is too far-fetched to take seriously. Now, we could try and steal from our party members. But I think I'm going to be a good person and not do that. Alright, um... I think we're good. I think I don't think there's anything left here. Hey kids, go play somewhere else, will ya? No fair. Well, we want to play here. Yeah, so look. And look, we get a sour syrup. That's what that bracelet is doing for us. We got an MP recovery item. 
I think we can do some fishing here. Ooh, can we? Yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fish. Made it with some shrimp. Yes! That's massive! We caught every fish here in one pull. Claude is a master fucking fisherman. I'm a bit worried about sailing on this ship. You getting on? I'll need to see a permit, please. You mean this? Well, I'll be damned. You actually got a real travel permit. Well, yeah. We got it from the king. Wow. I would have never guessed from the way you look. Thanks, man. So when is this ship departing? We'll be shoving off whenever they finish loading the cargo. Oh, not too long then. I can't be too sure of that. Tell you what. We'll wait up for you, so why don't you come back later? You know, poke around town a bit. Uh, okay. Does anyone on this trip have red hair? Potentially. I think a red-haired swordsman might have gotten on board just before we, we got here, actually. Well, we've got some time. How about we have a seat on that bench? He just came out of nowhere. Are you all right, Claude? Yeah, I'm fine. He just came out of nowhere. That was really rude of him. He could have at least apologized. Huh? What's wrong, Claude? Hey, my wallet's missing. It just went into nowhere. What? Are you serious? That kid must have stolen it. The one that came out of nowhere? I don't know. I might have dropped it somewhere. If that kid was behind it, we will definitely need to teach him a lesson. Selene out for blood? We need to find that kid first. What did he look like again? He was pretty small, and I think he had blue hair. Rena, you're small and have blue hair. The plot thickens. That sounds about right to me. All right, let's have a look around town. We can't go to L without any money. Pray but find that kid. There might have been a good reason. We shouldn't scold him too harshly. Light-fingered children deserve a little punishment. Caught me completely by surprise. We need to find that kid. How can a kid so young be a pickpocket? There must be some reason. Unbelievable. One can truly never be too careful. I can't imagine Master Kettle doing something like that. He does receive a generous weekly allowance, you know. My son, you must be joking. His father is one of the two wealthiest men in this town. Yeah, who's the other? if we're gonna need Nancy for this mystery. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious who the culprit... Ooh. Unique spot. Old lighthouse. A lighthouse that overlooks Carrick. The view from the top is said to be superb, but with the interior off-limits, no one can verify if this is true. A boy? No, I haven't seen any boys. You know, rich people are among the most ethical people on Earth. That actually hurt to say. I want to slap me now. Can we, uh... Mm. 
literally pulling fountains of snakes out of the fountain. This snake is covered in cobras. Uh, I mean, this fountain is covered in... You know what I mean. Q, Q, Q. Oh. Another treasure chest with some jewelry in it. What kind of jewelry? I don't know. We don't have the appraisal skill. I'm trying to get something that isn't snakes. And we can make it average fishing, which is nice. Apparently it's very easy to catch snakes. There we go, we got one that a whelk mouth bass. Fishing out so many snakes. So many snakes. Yeah, this is not an indie game. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's bait with the snakes. And that won't help, actually. I give up. I'll start by asking if anyone knows who that kid is. Isn't that Cato? He's the one who's always playing by himself. Cato's usually playing by himself near the bar. Yeah, an ancient temple trap. I think we should open one of those. See, a chest full of seafood. Why not? So many snakes. Ha! Finally got you. What are you doing? Let me go. How about you giving us back the wallet you stole first? What? What are you talking about? I didn't steal no wallet. Obviously, it's like a fountain from the NetHack universe. Snakes just fountain out of it. Really now? You better not be lying, Claude. It's okay if you don't know what we're talking about, but if you do know something about it, it would be really nice of you if you can tell us, okay? Are we you good cop, bad cop, any money, child? Then we'll be stuck here and we won't be able to continue our journey. You haven't seen any wallets lying around on the ground or anything, have you? Whoa, you're traveling? But you didn't have enough money in your... So it was you. Uh, uh... Don't scare him like that, Claude. Listen, we aren't angry at you, okay? Yeah, we are. Just tell us what you were going to do with the money. Was there something you wanted to buy? I can get anything I want already. So why, then? I just wanted to play a trick on you. Elaine hit him with lightning. Huh? I'm not some sheltered rich kid, okay? I'm a big macho sailor, and I can do anything I want. Guess I showed you, didn't I? So that's why you stole the wallet? Nobody ever wants to play with me. 
They think I'm too rich and stuck up to be with them. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, now I understand. So, what are we going to do with this boy? How about we get her wallet back for starters? Here. I'm sorry. Now, what next? I'm gonna I slam know. dunk you in the Why ocean. Why don't you guide us around Kurok until our ship departs? I promise we won't tell on you. Huh? We're new in town, so we'd like someone who knows this place well to show us around. You know what I mean? Good idea, Claude. Need I remind you about sparing the rod? So you want me to be your tour guide? Could you? Sure, I'll do it. It sounds like fun. My name's Reyna. What's yours? Kettle. And my name is Celine. And I'm gonna hit you with lightning bolt. And I'm Claude. Good to meet you. All right, off we go then. You got it. Leave it to me. So now we have a little miniature tour guide who will teach us about... Did you feel that? Who will teach me? us about, uh... Not really. Oh, right! Hey, mister! What is it, Kettle? They call this place Fountain Square. Bet you didn't know that. Let's pretend not to know that. Well, where will you hear this? Fountain Square is the busiest part of town. They've got a restaurant, a clothing store, and all kinds of other shops, too. Huh, neat. Do you play here with your friends, Kettle? I have no friends. Uh, well, anyway, that's Fountain Square. Let's go hit up some of those shops. Shops, huh? Like this one? I got some crates. Hey, God, let's have some crates. Buy a crate. Hey, guys. I was gonna pay for them. Don't worry about it. Besides, you shouldn't need to worry about money when you're a kid. Thanks, Claude. Ooh, it's delicious. How would you like some delicious ice cream? Hey, Claude, let's have some ice cream. And I'm gonna buy him ice cream, too, because, you know, why not? I'll have a vanilla one, please. I was gonna pay for them. Don't worry. I hope you enjoy it. It's cold and delicious. We've learned that ice cream is cold. Kettle! Okay... Hey kids, would you mind playing with Kettle for a while? Kettle? Aw oh, man. I don't want to play with some rich kid. Oh, come on. That's no reason to say no. But that's what my mom told me. She said don't play with that rich kid. My mommy said the same thing, too. But what does being rich have to do with who you play with? Kettle's been wanting to play with all of you for a long time. Don't you think that's what's important? Not really. Kettle? You really want to play with us? Yeah, I do. Then let's be friends. I always wanted to play with you, too. I was kind of wondering what you were like, too, Kettle. Well, great. Come on, Kettle. Go have some fun with them. But what about you guys? Don't worry about us. We've got to catch a ship to get on with our journey. Thanks. Kettle, over here! Okay. Oh, yeah! It's we nice have seen children play helped together, them make isn't it? friends, I guess. I didn't realize you had a gentle side to you, Claude. Actually, I'm more than a little surprised myself. Anyway, we'd better get back to the business at hand. Shall we get going? Had a little side adventure. Everything's great. Hey, you again. 
I think we're about to shove off. So am I. Really? Yep, sorry to keep you waiting. I got one more piece of cargo to load up, so if you got anything to buy or check up on one last time, go do it now. Got it. Nope, I'm good. Well, I guess we have to go back, but... You feel that? It's so nice to be here, no matter what time of the year. Whoa, again? Fucking leg it. Original Star Ocean 2, there's this CGI cutscene that looks nothing like the art style of the rest of the game, solely for that one incident. It's one of like two CG cutscenes in the entire game. My shop! Oh, my shop! This is what happens when you let your kids play with the rich. Kettle! There you are! Oh good, I was so hey, sad Mister. that he had survived. Where are your friends? They died. I sacrificed them. I could only find one of them. Oh. What about your mother? How's she doing? She's dead too. The lady of the house was out of town when the earthquake struck. She should be fine. Well, I hope so. Mister? Hmm? I'm never gonna play with other kids again. I'm glad you're okay, too. Thanks. I think it's implied she, like, just left. Oh, dear. Has anyone seen my husband? Nope. That earthquake killed my entire crew. It's a miracle I managed to survive. Are you okay, Captain? Yeah, nothing short of a miracle, actually. But my crew's gone, uh, save for that guy over there. That was quite a shock, I have to say. That bizarre wind and then that horrible rumbling. So what are you going to do now? A whole lot of nothing is what I'm going to do. Can't do much without a ship. That's valid. Let me give you a word of advice, though. You know I'm not the only way to get to L, right? Oh? Nope. First off, let me give you your royal travel permit back. Oh, good. You didn't die with this in your pocket. Thank you. Now take that permit with you to the Lacour continent. If you ask the king over there nicely, I bet he can arrange for a ship to take you to L. Lacour? Kind of out of your way, I know. But if you ask me, that's your best bet. You'll need to go through Harley first, though. That's a port city on the eastern edge of Cross. So first to Harley. You'll know you're going the right way if you see a village called Mars. Korok's kind of out of the picture right now, so Mars is going to be the best place to stock up and get a good night's sleep before the voyage. That's fair. Mars. Got it. You still seriously want to go to L after all this? 
You guys must be crazy. Hey, I'm right. My crepe shop. Gone forever. My cabbages. Does the sorcery globe control nature too, or was it something else? I wonder if Kettle's okay. Well, we've taken quite the detour, but we should be grateful none of us were harmed. If you'll notice, uh, our next destination is not the coast. It is, in fact, the city of Mars. Well, I say city, but it's not really a city. The small town of Mars. Either way, we're going to Mars. Ah, uh, yeah, we fished this spot out. There is life on Mars. The enemy, is it? We got enemies. Ha, ha. Ha. We can handle this. Yeah. That was easier that was than I thought. Pretty weak. That was pretty weak. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. But yeah, we're uh, just gonna swing through Mars real quick. And I think that's where we're gonna stop. For the evening. Tomorrow, though, we'll be doing some more of this game. And uh, I really... I cannot thank you all enough for indulging me in my... In my utter bullshit. Jupiter was bright in the sky. That's nice. It's nice to know. A town of symbologists? Maybe someone can teach me healing symbols. Um, those really don't exist. So we're going to save right here on the app. Well, let's head in and see what the deal is with Mars first. Let's drop a save here. Alright, I think here is where we will stop for now. But, we've done so much, you know? We've done a lot tonight. Not all of it was, you know, productive. Yeah, Elton John would be, uh, Rocket Man. Oh, that's right, we have something to appraise. Uh, success rate 44%. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. We did just save. Success! A water ring! A ring that increases the damage inflicted with water spells. And we could have we an attempt to create machines, but that is kind of beyond her. So, saving. Back to title. Quit the game. Um, yeah, I love this too. This was... I'm just obsessed with this game, I think. Ugh. Let me see who we have available to raid, if anyone seems interesting, or... Uh... I think playing Kingdom Hearts. Is that the first one? It looks like the first one. <laughs> oh, God. I, I recommend... Now, you know what? I'm going to raid Iceland.
I'm gonna drop you guys off over there. Good night, folks. Enjoy the show. And I'll see you tomorrow.